Bunny, and today's video is finally going to be a swatch of all of the new ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy Sticks. Oh, never mind. These are just called Ultra Matte Lip. All their other lipsticks are called lippy sticks, but I wanted to put this video up like two weeks ago when they first got released on the website, but honestly, they sold out within a few hours, like every single color, and I think that they are about to do a restock, so I thought now would be a perfect time to swatch all of the colors, just so you guys can see how they look on a real, live, human moving face. Yeah! Really quick before I do all the swatches, I just wanted to give you guys some details about this product. It is amazing. These are honestly probably my favorite matte lip tints that I've seen all year and they are so affordable. They have 25 different colors. Each color is only six dollars. That is just incredible to me. They are highly pigmented. They are not lying when they say ultra matte. Okay, these things are incredibly dry. Once you apply them, they don't move, they don't budge. I have eaten entire meals with these things on my mouth and the color did not wipe off. So that's pretty good. They are so matte, in fact, that they dry within 20 to 30 seconds within like applying them. Some matte lippies take one to two minutes to dry. These are the quickest that I've ever put on. They dry incredibly fast. I swear while I'm swatching them, you can see them drying. They are a doe foot applicator, which is pretty standard to all lip glosses or matte lipsticks and they don't have any noticeable fragrance. So these all have different names, but for the sake of this video, I also numbered them all. I always love to see you guys' comments on these videos, so go ahead and open up a comment down below and get ready to type the color name or the color numbers of which ones are your favorites. I think I love the purples from this collection the most. They are so gorgeous, the purples and the vibrant pinks. But let's just get started so you guys can see all of the swatches. Up first we've got Midi, which is almost like a grayish pink. Maybe we could even say dusty pink, but dusty pink kind of sounds disgusting and not like something I would like on my lips. But all jokes aside, I do think that this is a really soft and pretty color. Shade number two is called Trap. And this really is a nice grayish color. It is like a grayish beige. I really, really love this one as well. And I will just say, I think that this is a pretty close dupe for Lime Crimes Cashmere, if you're looking for a product in that shade. Shade number three is Vice, which is kind of a muted baby pink. I don't think that this color looks great on me, but maybe if I was wearing the right kind of makeup, I feel like it kind of pales my lips out almost maybe a little bit too much, but it is still a nice soft pink color. Shade number four is Shimmy, and it is still kind of like a soft baby pink shade, but it is getting a little bit out of that more muted. I feel like this color is like a traditional baby pink. It's not super bright, it's not super light, it's kind of like a mid-range baby pink. Shade number five has one of the cutest names. I think it is Donut, and it really does remind me of like a nice jelly filling. It's almost like a strawberry color. I really like this. I think especially for summer, it's great. Shade number six is Seesaw, and this is kind of like a purpley pink. It's not really lavender. It's more kind of plink. What would we call this? Maybe it is like a nice rose petal color. Shade number seven is called Solo. Solo. I don't know how to say this. It's like solo. And I kind of don't have a name for this pink. Once again, I feel like all pink looks the same to me until it's like electric pink. So this is once again, you know, just a very soft, natural, baby pink shade. Number eight is Bumble. And this is kind of a almost orangey shade to me. Maybe we could even call this coral because it does kind of appear to me at least to be like a 
pinky coral shade kind of when it dries it starts to get a little bit darker I'm sure you guys can see that shade number nine is first base and this is a nice I, I refer to this as like Barbie pink it really does make me think of like Barbie's pink convertible shade number 10 is zipper and this is one of the dark purple shades in the collection it's very vibrant and it is like very deep it's maybe almost like a plum purple color and on some of these darker shades I almost feel like two coats makes it a little bit more opaque shade number 11 is creeper and this i feel like is the brightest red shade out of the entire collection i feel like this is kind of a really nice blue red but it is very very bright i love it it makes me want to wear like leopard print or camo my favorite color shade number 12 lychee never know how to say this but this shade is my most worn shade out of the entire collection. I absolutely love this. It makes me feel like I'm like a space baby from Mars or something. It's so bright, almost neon purple pink. I really think it's a very unique color and I love it. Shade number 13 is Sunday and this almost has like a I, I don't even really know how to describe it. It almost has like a metallic kind of look to it but it is a beautiful vibrant pink shade shade number 14 is koala and i feel like this is a nice bright lavender shade i feel like it's almost kind of another one of those pink purple shades it, it does kind of have some pink hues to it i think it's a really fun and unique shade i think it's different than other lavenders on the market maybe that's just me shade number 15 is mars and this is another one of my favorites i've definitely already worn this about two or three times it is a very high impact, vibrant pink. It looks good. What do you guys think? It almost looks a little bit red. I don't know. I love it. Do you guys love it? Because I love it. Shade number 16 is Drive-In, which is another purple shade, at least to me. But once again, it's kind of like a pinky purple. And I feel like that's why all the uh, purple shades in the ColourPop collection are so wearable, because I feel like they do kind of have that pink base. So it's almost like a pink, but like a sassier shade of pink. Shade number 17 is Tool. And I'm not that crazy about this one personally, just like for my complexion, I don't think it works that well. It's kind of like a brick color. I don't know, maybe it just has to grow on me. Shade 18, I'm kind of on the fence about as well. That is Limbo. And it's kind of almost a chocolatey color, but like if you were to melt like cherry chocolate covered cherries it almost does look like it is kind of like a chocolate color but like cherry chocolate do you know what i mean color number 19 is pacific and pacific makes me think of blue and yet this is orange i feel like this is the brightest most truest orange shade out of the entire collection i'm really loving it i feel like it's a very unique kind of orange though i don't feel like it's a dupe for max orange or anything i like it shade Shade number 20 is Avenue, which once again, I feel like it's one of the harsher shades in the collection. It might be a close dupe to Max Night Moth. Maybe I'm just not in the mood for these shades right now because I kind of associate darker colors like this with fall and it's summer right now, so I want bright colors. Shade number 21, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like LAX or LAX, but once again, I do think that this would be really pretty in fall. It is a very dark shade. It's like a, you know, a deep burgundy red. It almost seems to have some plum undertones. Shade number 22 is Highball, which is yet again another really bright pink. I feel like this one is almost more vibrant in some ways, or maybe like a truer pink shade. I really like this one as well. Shade number 23 is Buds, and I feel like this is once again almost looking kind of lavender, but a stronger pink toned lavender, if that makes any sense. I also kind of feel like this one is unique in a way that it appears kind of muted, and... I like that. It looks good. 
Shade number 24 is Ouija. Like a Ouija board, how creepy. This one is kind of a difficult color to describe. It almost is kind of like persimmon colored, maybe? I'm not sure, it's, it's oh, maybe like salmon. It's kind of like a pinky reddish orange. Shade 25, our last shade, is called Succulent. And I feel like this is another more red shade, but this is definitely kind of like an orangey red, whereas Creeper earlier was like a blue-toned red. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank y'all so very much for watching and for being here today. I hope you're all having a lovely day. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Yard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. That was a cracky bye. Bye. I sound like a sheep. Bye. That's like a dolphin. Ew. Sophisticated animal language.